how does Frankenstein bring this patchwork of body parts to life? What does he do to bring it alive? To make it live? Did you ever see that thing on Frankenstein's head in the movies? What charges through there that brings him to life? Electricity. He is given bolts of electricity and he is brought back, brought to life. This is something that actually in the 1800s there were serious scientists who thought this might be possible. And this is when the original Frankenstein was written. Um, we don't believe it's possible now, but there was a whole theory called galvanism that was about uh, this possibly happening. So, Frankenstein is the scientist who brings this monster to life. Now, this monster is born from body parts and electricity. Do you think that the monster is he's alive? He has a brain, he has a heart. Do you think that there's anything essentially about this creation that would make this creation evil? Would this creation wake up and want to destroy everything? Or do you think this might be more like a person being born? Like a baby being born? If the baby is born, is the baby evil coming out? Is the baby a monster? Okay. I would argue, and many people argue, and the writer, Mary Shelley, intended for Frankenstein to be made and be created and be a caring, smart person. But when Frankenstein, when Victor, when the scientist sees him, he goes, ah! And he wanted no part of his creation. He ran away from it. How do you think that would make a caring, sensitive person who's just born feel if the person who made him wants no part of him, is scared of him? Do you think that that person would be hurt by that? Someone give me a heck yeah. All right. Thank you, Michaela. Heck yeah. Uh, okay. And when this person is born, uh, because he is mistreated, he is ignored by the person who creates him. Um, person escapes from the dungeon. Frankenstein escapes from the dungeon. This is kind of true of the story, kind of not. But uh, this is what we've come to accept. Um, he escapes into town. And Frankenstein... Comes up to Yerl Dean, who's hanging out doing her work uh, in on her farm. And Yerl Dean, how would you react to a seven foot creature that's stitched together with bolts coming out of his neck and scars all over? It looks like dead body parts just strewn together. Would you say, hey, how, how are we going? Would you like to come over for dinner? Yerl Dean runs away and tells her brother, 